Hey guys, what's up? We probably have heard all about 4G, 4G LTE, 4G WiMAX. So what's all this fuss about 4G? Most of us have been bombarded by them through adverts, commercials, newspaper advertisements, and so on. And um, in the Philippines, we have three main carriers. There are Globe, Smart, and Sun Cellular. And they all seem to be promoting and marketing 4G, just like what happened recently with Globe, in which they upgraded their network in Cebu to 4G standards. So what is 4G? 4G is the fourth generation mobile standard. Uh, we had previous generations like 3G, 2G, and 1G. 1G was analog, so that's just basically, uh, you know, those old 1980s gigantic phones. Then we had 2G, which had which which, which had a little bit of you know WAP, GPS, and then 3G, which was, which was much faster. Now we have 3.5G, and this year, 2013, is going to be 4G year. 4G is several times faster than the previous generation 3G. There are two types of 4G standards. There's LTE and WiMAX. LTE meaning long-term evolution. What's the difference between 4G LTE and 4G WiMAX? 4G LTE uh, has become the norm nowadays. But uh, it was 4G WiMAX which started it all back in Seoul, in South Korea, back in 2006, while LTE was introduced in Oslo, Norway, in 2009. WiMAX, uh, 4G WiMAX, is uh, similar to a large. Imagine it as a large uh, tower, a Wi-Fi tower, which can span, which has a signal strength up to 30 miles, and. Compare that to 4G LTE, which which runs on a radio, which was, which runs on mobile radio, which is similar to 3G. 4G LTE uh, runs at around 100 megabits per sec, 100 megabits downstream and 50 megabits upstream, while 4G L, sorry, 4G WiMAX runs at 138, I think, downstream, and 75 upstream, something like that. Um, however, 4G LTE has become sort of the norm worldwide. Even with US carriers, they have become 4G LTE is becoming the norm. In the Philippines, Globe was the first one to come out with uh, 4G, which is back then WiMAX. And uh, however, this year, uh, both companies, Globe and Smart, have heavily invested in upgrading their network to 4G standard, which is 4G LTE. So, what is HSDPA and HSPA plus? Yeah, you, you probably see that on your phone when it says H plus or H. That is the that is what is known as three the 3.5G, which is a step higher than 3G. And speeds for HSPA plus can range up to uh, 30, 42 megabits per second, while theoretically, yeah. But in reality, they can only go up with re reality right now. It's between 1 megabit per second to 7 megabits per second, while HSDPA can go up from 3.6 megabits per second all the way to 14.2 megabits per second. With the recent uh, monetization of Globe's network in Cebu, they, they have advertised and marketed that HSPA Plus is 4G, and that's misleading. HSPC, HSPA Plus is in fact a 3G or souped up or pimped up 3G infrastructure, and uh, there's, not, there's nothing to do, it's not even recognized by um, a certain board. An international board, so HSPCA, HS, sorry, HSPA plus is in fact a three a three G infrastructure. The, what four G phones are available right now on the market? Uh, we have in the Philippines we have uh, the iPhone five, 
on both networks on Globe and Smart. We have the Sony Xperia V on Smart. We have the ZTE uh, TA2 on Smart and the Galaxy Note 2. And lastly, Samsung Galaxy S3. I'm not so sure regarding the Galaxy S3 uh, due to different radio frequencies with the modem on the on the device. However, this year I'm sure they're going. Several companies or all of the companies will be coming out with their own 4G phone. And just recently, Sony has an announced the Sony Xperia V and the Sony Xperia ZL, which are both uh, 4G phones. One being waterproof and dust resistant. So that's basically about it guys. I hope I have explained it well or simply enough for you. If you have any comments or if I made an error with what, I've, with, with, with what I just said a while ago, feel free to post them in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. So don't forget to like, subscribe and follow me.